Howdy everyone. You're back with me. I'm on the grass today. Check it out. Beautiful uh, sports field here behind me in glorious Park City, Utah. Uh, I love bluegrass. I love growing it up here. Now, uh, for all of you who watch my videos, we build programs for every type of turf grass. And, and I think it's really important for everybody to understand that um, I treat soils all very much the same. Uh, personally, when I build a program for people, uh, you know, we're getting certain amounts of everything into that soil every single time. Now, there are soils that give up more nutrients, uh, some less, some drain, uh, some don't, some this, some that. It doesn't really matter. We're, we're going to treat everything as a cohesive unit. So when somebody says, look, I need a program for uh, upstate New York compared to I need a program for South Florida, there's some things that are they're so close to the same because we're treating this cohesive unit. So there's not, not a whole lot of change there. Now, uh, what I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today is, is the dethatch product. And I'm going to uh, show a video that was sent in to me about some results on that. And I want to tell you why it's important, okay? With a little bit of history. Now, I personally um, don't, I'm not a fan of enzymatic products uh, or, you know, people call it the bugs in a jug. Uh, or uh, live bacteria in bottles and, and that kind of thing. I'm not, not a fan. Um, years and years ago, I actually used products like that, looked at them, and for turf grass, results were lackluster, uh, the bottom line. And what would happen is it, eventually that enzymatic response, that um, biological response, these microbes would basically mine out the soil. This is what was happening. So it, it started to really come to a realization that we needed to have a nutrient load that was doing what it was supposed to do. You wanted to enhance your current um, soil flora, okay? Like rather than try to add a bunch of stuff into it, it we needed to just make sure that they were being uh, nurtured properly. So that, that, was, that was the whole concept behind the development of all of my product line is to nurture the soil's existing life. You don't need to add a bunch of things into it. Okay, so I had to say all that because here's the deal with, with the dethatch. Dethatch is enzymatic and it's meant for really one purpose and one purpose only and that is to chew through the top layer of thatch and to start getting a good uh, plant to soil contact. Why is this important? Now, mechanical dethatching is a thing. Um, it is a pain in the butt. It's stressful on turf. You can't do it in all turf types. And some of the ones that really need it the most, that uh, you can't run a mechanical um, dethatcher across, a power rig. So what we have done here is created a product that it requires some heat because we're trying to enhance that bacteria right there in the soil surface where it is the hottest and then give that a little bit of gas Okay, plus a little bit of extra to just start chewing through things faster. Okay, I want that thatch to go back into the soil to become nutrients for the plant. We don't want to pull it off and haul it to the dump. Okay, that's a terrible idea. We're losing everything when we do this. So there's the benefits of doing this particular um, type of therapy for your grass. That's what we're going to call it. When your thatch layer gets too thick, there's a few things that happen. Number one, you start to cut oxygen down to the lower levels. And what's funny is a lot of people when they see that, and I'm talking turf professionals say, you have a big thatch layer, we're gonna aerate. Well, <clears throat> that's a terrible idea. Stop saying that, it's not right, okay? Um, you've gotta manage the thatch, that has nothing to do with aeration. However, if you can manage the thatch, you will get more airflow, which is what we want. Now the other thing of that is water flow, okay? So with water, Think of a thatched roof. Water can get stuck and not go where it's supposed to. So your grass can look even more dry. And guess what? That's gonna build up a more yellowy kind of look, okay? So thirdly, the heat and stillness. So now you've created an area where you have anaerobic bacteria doing the work. Uh, it's moving super slow and you're getting nutrients and other things stuck in this layer. It's not making it all the way to the turf or into the soil. So we have a problem. And that usually shows up in the form of fungal activity because now everything is hot and still and staying wet and, and that, doesn't, that doesn't work. So managing that thatch layer is important. Now, I don't see a reason 
if a person manages that the first time and then they don't go back onto a crazy high nutrient program with lots of surge growth and cutting their grass poorly and doing all this kind of stuff, why would you ever have to do that again? Okay? You might not. That would be great. Uh, but sometimes, you know, your problem is much more acute. It's going to take a little time to get all of that chewed up and put where it's supposed to be. So, with that, Making dethatch a part of your late spring, early summer program is wonderful. And in fact, if you even move it into June or July, as things start to chew up into the ground, it looks like you're getting another feeding out of your turf because you're converting all of that organic matter into nutrients, which is what your grass is asking for. So think about that for your timing and the way everything else goes. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to a video clip that was sent to me by Chris Seagraves. Um, he is a customer and a friend of mine uh, down in Tulsa, Oklahoma um, with Lawn America. And he had a customer who there was something happened uh, to the lawn and they used dethatch to basically rehab that. So I wanna show you this. Uh, you guys take a look. Um, this is from the words of Chris and um, hit me up with any questions or comments below, but enjoy this, I think you're really gonna like it. What we have here is a lawn that earlier this spring, we had major, major uh, kill out. Somebody had come through with a backpack with something in it, I suspect some kind of sterilant, the only thing that uh, was in these bare spots that were all over the yard, it was very bad. The only thing that was trying to survive was Bermuda. There were weeds all over the rest of the lawn, um, but there were no weeds in the dead areas. So somebody had come through with something thinking they were going to kill out some weeds, but they killed out everything. Uh, this is... Uh, roughly one month um, after we did nothing except for a dethatch application and uh, so we're going to do one more dethatch application this week and it should uh, help dissolve the rest of this dead plant material here uh, and this is actually um, good news that we have a weed in here that means that the sterilant or whatever was put down is starting to wear off and that was the hope that we put down a dethatch application and the thatch that's holding that sterilant product would um, decompose and render whatever was put down um, it would denature it and get rid of it so I'm actually glad to see this would be the first time in five months now that a weed sprouted in these dead areas now if this was a disease or anything like that I know it was not because of the uh, spray pattern and everything that that happened but if it were a disease there would be a bunch of weeds sprouting up um, their, their primary weeds, you'd have um, notoriously nut sedge and spurge and some of those things cropping in. There's still no seasonal weeds in here. Typically you would still see spurge, so that tells me that there is some kind of product still active. This is, uh, this is one of those really thorny uh, sticker plants. Um, so it's one of the tough primary weeds that uh, that would come in after some kind of sterilant product wore off. Now, um, the guys that do sterilant for our company, they would know that certain ones don't let anything through. The one that we use, like SureGuard, uh, it doesn't keep Bermuda gone for long. So that's how I knew that this wasn't going to be a total loss. Uh, there was some Bermuda growing in these places already but this is a curable solution we did not pound it with nitrogen uh, which would be most people's first uh, plan of action would be to put tons of urea on here and jump start this growth that's going to 
do more damage to a root system of a plant that's been damaged already by a chemical. If you can see, I don't know how this is going to record, there is darker green around the, the areas that were damaged and that are filling in. And that is because there is decomposing organic material. All this thatch, everything that was dead is decomposing and as a result it's releasing nitrogen. So the nitrogen is going to green up the turf. Um, but uh, the dethatch has a little bit of nitrogen in it so it's going to blend in anything that's decomposing uh, with the lighter green things um, but uh, it gives it kind of a nurse rate of nitrogen while it decomposes everything and the hope is uh, and it, it appears to be working but the original thought was let's get things down to bare dirt so that the uh, chemical is gone and also these runners can actually root down to the bare dirt because you see what's going on here is it's trying to put out some roots but only if it lands on soil this Bermuda doesn't want to root into its own thatch and dead material so that's why this is spreading and filling in so quickly is where it has contact with soil it wants to root down so there you have it